All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So in about four to five days from now, Global will be getting three brand new Extreme Z Awakenings. One of them is gonna be for this guy right here, the AGL Super Vegito, but we're also gonna be getting EZAs for the Int Android 18 and also STR Android 17. So in today's video, I want to give you guys all the details for all three of these Extreme Z Awakenings so that you guys are fully prepared and ready to go once they come out. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And we're going to start here with a quick overview of the Extreme Z Battle Event for Super Vegito first. And as you can see, the release date is April 10th, 2020. For some of you, it might be April 9th, depending on your time zone. But basically, four to five days from now, and the weakness for this event is the transformation boost category but as always you can beat this event with a mono type team but you have to bring a very specific mono team in this case it would be an extreme tech team i mean technically maybe it's possible to use other extreme teams but uh, i'm pretty sure it's impossible with a super mono team so try your best to bring as many extreme tech units as possible and uh, as far as the stages here, pretty standard stuff. As you go along, you're getting medals for Vegito, you're getting some AGL orbs, and uh, after level three, this guy will get an additional damage reduction of 40% against Super STR types. After level seven, it's 50% additional damage reduction against Super AGL and Super STR. And then after level 12, it's 60% against Super AGL, Super STR, and Super Fizz. After level 16, it's 70% against Super AGL, Super Tech, Super STR, and Super Fizz. And then after level 19, it's 80% additional damage reduction against int types, Super AGL, Super Tech, Super STR, and Super Fizz. So that's why I say it's pretty much impossible to beat this event with only super type units because after level 19, um, they're not gonna be doing much damage to him at all, if any, and uh, you ideally wanna bring as many extreme tech as possible, but maybe other extremes could work too with the exception of extreme int, so uh, definitely keep that in mind. And we're going along, getting more orbs, getting more medals, getting some Kai's as well. And once it's all said and done, after the first 30 levels, you're looking at all the medals to Extreme Z Awaken. Uh, did I say levels or medals? All the medals to Extreme Z Awaken, uh, AGL Super Vegito, uh, enough AGL orbs to rainbow an AGL unit, as well as 30 Dragon Stones and 11 AGL Grand Kai's. And in addition, we get three missions, one for... Uh, beating a level within 1 minute and 15 seconds, and another one for beating level 20 or higher within 1 minute and 40 seconds, and then beating, let's see, level 20 or higher with a character from the transformation boost category on your team, and that's one more stone. So in total, 34 stones you can get from this event. And uh, here's a quick overview of the transformation boost category. So the two main leaders here, of course, are uh, STR Cooler, and also, who's the other one? STR Super Boo. Yo, he's so irrelevant, I forgot about him. My bad. So yeah, Super Boo um, or uh, Cooler. But obviously, like I said, you can bring a Extreme Tech team as well. And uh, here are all the Extreme Tech teams on the second column here. Or not teams, uh, units in the second column here. You guys can take a quick look if you want. And uh, there you go. So good luck to all of your grinds. Good luck on beating the levels. I know that when EZAs were first a thing, it took me forever to beat the first one, the uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku one. So I'm sure there's still a lot of people out there that will struggle with this. And if you guys need some help, then uh, possibly I might make a team building video for this event. Maybe. We'll see. Anyways, let's move on to the AGL Super Vegito's Extreme Z Awakened details. His leader skill is AGL types, uh, key plus four, HP, attack, and defense plus 100%. Super attack causes immense damage and raises allies' attack by 35% for one turn. And his passive is attack and defense plus 40% within the same turn. After receiving an attack, foresees enemy super attack when HP is 40% or less and uh, damage received from normal attacks minus 80% and counters with tremendous power. So 
as I've said in the past, this 40% seems low, but it actually does make a huge, huge difference for this unit considering he used to have no damage or no attack boost at all. It used to be no attack, just literally um, damage received from normal attacks minus 80% and counters with tremendous power. And even back then, he was still considered a beast just because of how much damage those counters did, right? So now with the EZA, he gets additional 40% attack, which makes him one of the hardest hitting TURs in the game. I don't think he's like in the top three anymore, but he still is, I would say, He's got to be in the top 10, maybe even like top 6, top 7, something like that. I haven't really looked at the updated um, rankings or anything like that, but he still hits really, really hard when you factor in the counters. And uh, also the ability to foresee super attacks is a nice... Um, it, I mean, it's, it's a really useful effect for sure, but the fact that it's so hard to actually make this happen um, definitely makes it a little bit less useful. But if you're on like, you know, Super Battle Road or something like that and you are close to dying and you really need to avoid a super, then, you know, this could come in handy. And of course, you have to also factor in the fact that he gets, uh, an, you know, easy A stats, right? So 18,705 is his new maximum attack at rainbow status versus the old 15,840. So yeah, this dude's gonna be hitting super, super hard. Don't let this 40% fool you. Um, it's a great easy A. It really is. Okay, so his links, of course, say the same as before. Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Prepare for Battle, uh, Power Bestowed by God, Fuse Fighter, Shocking Speed, Fierce Battle, and his categories, Majin Buu Saga, Pizhara, Super Saiyans, and Last Resort. So that is the AGL Super Vegito for you. And now we're going to move on to one of the androids. Who are we starting with here? Uh, Android 17. So STR Android 17, leader skill, tech, int, and STR types, key plus 3. HP, attack, and defense plus 50%. Super attack raises defense and causes supreme damage to enemy and greatly lowers defense. So he's one of those units that, of course, will be really good for medium length to really long events, like uh, a long Extreme Z, not Extreme Z, sorry, uh, a long Dokkan event or obviously Legendary Goku event. Um, infinite Dragon Ball history, so on and so forth. He's gonna be really good because he raises attack or, or defense by 30% for up to 99 turns. So he can get really, really tanky while also making the enemy less tanky. His passive is weakens regeneration and causes AGL key spheres, or not causes, changes AGL key spheres to rainbow key spheres, attack and defense plus 70%, and chance of performing a critical hit plus 17%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 80%, and medium chance of launching an additional super attack when your team has Android 18 attacking in the same turn. So if you guys remember those uh, free-to-play future androids from the future Gohan and Trunks event, this guy is kind of like the free-to-play future 17 except better right just with like better boosts and stuff like that but and better stats of course but very similar in the way he works and uh, if you have a 18 attacking the same turn that's 150 percent attack and defense um weakens regeneration is very niche and it only really is a factor in the horrific cell games event but uh you know it's a thing it's a thing that's there and what else? Um, that's it, yeah, 17% critical hit chance um, increase. And links are infinite energy, android assault, twin terrors, innocent, soul versus soul, fear and faith, and fierce battle. Categories, android, sibling spawn, android slash shell saga, and target Goku. And as far as his stats go, 16,152 attack, which is pretty good for a non Tokon Fest TUR unit, right? So. That is the 17 for you. 18 is uh, similar in the sense that she is, um, she works a lot like the free-to-play STR Android 18 from the story event. So her leader skill is tech, int, and STR types key plus three, HP, attack, and defense plus 50%. Super attack, sadistic dance, raises attack and causes supreme damage and greatly lowers defense. So she is not gonna be good for tanking purposes, but um, I mean, if, you're fighting a stage where the enemy won't hit super hard, then she can at least do some good damage over over the course of like a long-ish event because she can stack a lot of attack, right? But uh, definitely raising defense, in my opinion, is preferred over raising attack. So in that sense, 
I would say that the 17 is better than the 18, but uh, this girl's still really good. She's still really good, trust me. Okay, Weakens Regeneration is the passive and changes Rainbow Key Spheres to Int Key Spheres. Attack and defense plus 80% and reduces damage received by 18%. So she does get damage reduction, so she can still do a little bit of tanking, but she's not going to be nearly as tanky in longer events, of course, as her brother. And uh, plus an additional attack and defense plus 70% and medium chance of evading enemies attack, including super attack, when your team has Android 17 attacking in the same turn. So uh, she gets 80% attack and defense first and then additional attack and defense plus 70%, whereas it's the other way around for Android 17. And instead of um, the additional super attack, she has a medium chance of evading enemies attacks, so she has the dodge mechanic, which like I said, is the same thing for the free to play Android 18. And uh, yeah, she's a very good EZA as well. Uh, Link's Infinite Energy, Android Assault, Twin Terrors, Battlefield Diva, uh, Soul vs. Soul, Nightmare, and Fierce Battle, and categories Peppy Gals, Android, Sibling Spawn, Android Slash Shell Saga, and Target Goku. Stats wise, uh, let's see, 15,449 attacks, so lower and Android 17, but higher HP and I think higher defense as well. Uh, let's check real quick. Uh, yes, definitely higher HP and defense. So she makes up for that um, or the lack of attack with some additional stats for the other two. And that's pretty much it, guys. That is today's video. That's all there is to say about these three upcoming Extreme Z Awakenings. Of course, the medals for the two Androids can be acquired from the uh, Perfect Cell Extreme Z Battle event. I wish that they would have gotten their own Extreme Z Battle for those additional 30 plus stones and all that stuff, but I mean, I guess it's because they're not, you know, Dual Confess units. Although there have been non Dual Confess units in the past that got their own Extreme Z Battle. But either way, I get it, it's all good. But uh, there we go, guys. Three brand new Extreme Z Awakenings coming to Global in just under a week and I'm super super excited for them especially for this guy to run with the Fizz Vegito Blue and uh, that's gonna be a lot of fun so there you go expect some showcases maybe some streams for all of these grinds and until then hope you guys enjoyed today's video and as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.